Greetings exiles. Since my last video, I've improved my build a lot. Crafting found some gear, and now let's see what I have. I will start with a ring with Onslaught on hit. At this point, it's a nice addition to my build, but first I need to fix it a bit. I need some intelligence because my character is stupid, and it would also be nice to get some resistances, so I'll use the proven method to craft with essences. I think that's where I'll stop. Pretty mediocre ring, to tell you the truth, but right now I don't want to spend a lot of time and resources on crafting. And as a temporary solution, it suits me completely. So the final step is Benchcraft and Exalted Slam. Wow! This is actually just what I need. Despite being a pretty low tier, I'm still pretty happy with it because now I can anoint a Vengeance Cascade on my amulet. With this anoint, our build goes to a whole new level, because we're increasing our DPS significantly. Many of you probably wonder how many days I spent to get 5 gold oils. After all, many players somehow think that it is very difficult especially on the SSF. But with this atlas, it took me literally 2-3 to three hours. Really want to note that almost all of the gold oil I got through the extractor, something like this. So I highly recommend not to ignore it. Also Blight is quite an interesting mechanic that gives different rewards. So in addition to the oils you can get a couple of other nice surprises. Stuff like this. Since this is an MF character I need a good Venter's Gamble, well at least one such ring. So let's go in search of it. Maybe Zana will trade us these useless cards for a good Venter's Gamble. Pretty weak. This might be exactly the perfect ring I'm looking for. Now that's much better. Another one. Wow. That's the one. Sometimes lucky all the time as one of my viewers said about me. I found the ring and now I can cross it off from my list and move on to the next step. At this point my main goal is to get the third void stone and in order to do that I have to kill Maven. But to do that I need a new bow with more DPS and 6 links. I found a base like this. It's not the best option, but I'm on SSF so it's hard to expect anything better. So I'll work with what I have. I will start with Essence's Spam. I think I'll stick with this one. Now Benchcraft and then Exalted Slam. Nope. That's not really what I need. And yes, I know that before Exalted Slam, it is better to block an unwanted attribute with a high weight. But that's for weaker players. The strong ones just close their eyes and do a slam. But come on. I think this bow will work for me until I can find a better base. Now for the fun part. I need to make six links. I have 500 fusing orbs. I think that should be enough. Unlucky. Let's trade our jeweler's orbs for the orbs of fusing. That should do it, right? No way. Alright, it's time for the grind, because I need a bow with six links. But before we do that, let's change our atlas a little bit. I don't need blight anymore, so I'm replacing it with legion because I need to open the fifth slot on the map device, and for that I need emblems. Also, legion itself is a good mechanic that can give a lot of scarabs. It's also an additional source of divine orbs. I could give up the ritual at this point, but I don't want to do that because I love this mechanic. How can we give it up when ritual gives us gifts like this? Enlightened support is just what we need. Alright, let's get back to farming orbs of fusing. Maybe I can find something else useful in the process. That's the nurse. And there's another one. Now I'm even closer to the headhunter. Wow. Taste of hate. Quite a nice find. My first Voidborn Reliquary Key. This is sure to be something good. Okay, unfortunately it's not the shiny mageblood or at least a headhunter. But now my new character will go through the axe in a stylish and shiny hat. Wait a minute. Why is this dude showing us Defiled Cathedral? 
Could it be another random the apothecary? No way. Nope. Just a useless seven years bad luck. And so, almost 400 orbs of fusing. Now that's six links for sure. That's unbelievable. All right. Let's try again. You gotta be kidding me. Now I'm starting to remember why I always, always, always use the benchcraft for six links. Well, let's try another 500 orbs. And 600 more. At this point, I was just getting curious. How much more will I enjoy this gameplay? This genius idea of game designers. And how many thousands of orbs of fusing do I need to spend to get the damn six links? Wow. Just wow. I guess I figured it out. It's time to get rid of this piece of junk. That's it. You know what? I should have done this 2000 orb of fusing ago. I feel so much better now. Much better. And now I can continue my journey. But before I move on, let's open up a couple hundred stack decks. Just to boost morale after the failed six links. Personally, I never open stack deck because it's a waste of time and currency. But now I'm on SSF, so I can't sell them. So let's open them. So far, nothing good. Maybe a doctor. I definitely need a doctor. Or at least a nurse. Nope. What a fun way to go. Now imagine there are people who open a few thousand stack decks every day. Wow. Patient. And another one. At least something useful. No tink. Unlucky. Well, now we can definitely continue my journey. As I said earlier, I need the fifth slot on the map device. So it's time for the four-way legion. But first, let's change our gear, because doing legion in MF gear is a very bad idea. I've got some items prepared here. Mostly I just found them or used Essence's spam crafting. So I won't really focus on them because there's nothing special about it, just items with life, spell suppression, and some resistances. I'll just say that you'll need some non-MF gear too, which you'll use periodically. For example, for the four-way legion or killing maven. So have it ready beforehand. I guess I'm ready now. And let's check out legion. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a nice elegant hubris to complete my build. With the new gear it was pretty easy. And of course I was lucky enough to find the elegant hubris. Now let's see what it gives us. Unfortunately it wasn't exactly what I needed. So I decided to spend a dozen divine orbs. Maybe we can modify it and it will give us the much needed items rarity. A lot of you might think I'm kind of crazy for spending such valuable divine orbs on this. But honestly, it's worth it. If I can get two nodes with item rarity, that would be a big deal for us and a very nice upgrade. So it's definitely worth it, plus I can always get more divine orbs if I need to. Unfortunately, I didn't find what I was looking for, only one node with item rarity. In theory I could use it now, but I won't for now. But I think I will definitely come back to it. Well then, now it's time for Maven. Easy. Only four portals. 
my third void stone. Finally, ideally it would still be nice to kill Uber Elder, but I'm not ready to do his fragments at the moment, especially after I've spent so much time trying to make six links. Now the tower is a T15 map, and that means I can use Eater of Worlds influence. And with his altars, I can get a lot of quality and rarity, which in turn will greatly increase my chances of finding the nurse and other rare items. I've got a T15 tower and some juice ready for it. So now we can do some serious magic finding. But that will be in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it and were able to find some useful information for yourself. As always, I will be grateful for likes, comments, and subscriptions. Bye everyone and see you in the third episode.